Hello everyone and welcome to our I Pick My Butt video. More Archer today and in this video we're going to be talking about the altar and these bloodthirst stones. Where's the best place to get them and how to farm for them? Now we're not going to really go over anything for the prayer side of it because yeah you might get a weapon plus 8% drop rate on it but to me it doesn't really seem valuable to go over the info on it. And we still don't know the exact point where you unlock the altar, but pretty sure it's going to be either level, talent, or chapter related. So in other words, start grinding if you don't have it. If you go into the altar and click on the Bloodthirst Stone icon, you can see here that the Bloodthirst Stones will be obtained from Hero Modes. And this is true, but there is some other places to get them from. But first, I do want to say... Don't ever do a quick raid normal chapter mode again. You want to make sure all your quick raids are now done in hero mode because this is an easy way to stack up some of those bloodthirst stones. And we're not doing quick raid and actually farming the chapters itself. Once again, hero mode, but it seems like the chapters in single digits will give up to five. The ones in the teens, maybe up to six and then from 20 and on up to seven. Don't hold me to that, but that's kind of what I've been seeing around the place. The battle pass is another place you'll be seeing these and you can get them on all three Three different levels from free to the basic to the advanced battle pass. They've also been known to pop up in the pirate ship if you're able to catch it and also in the cargo ship or what it says here is the frost sheaf. So keep your eyes open for that. I wouldn't recommend using gems to reroll. I tried it when it first came out and all five strikes I saw none of these bloodstones. Now if you caught my live stream you probably saw me do a couple of these things here. Pretty much from levels one through five it looks like it's going to take about five bloodstones and some random scrolls there for the most part. Once you get to level six through ten it's going to go bump up to ten for each level. Level. And then when we finally get to level 10, we have the option to ascend it. And this is where you're going to have to sacrifice and pretty much get rid of the equipment that you have in order to get that nice little bar to go up so you can get those cool green stats. And every single item has different ratings for it. And our neat little thing about this is you can see how the rings and spirits also give a very tiny amount of actual progress on it. But ironically enough, it was the rings and spirits I was getting most of when I was trying to farm for the demon blade. So this kind of gives us an idea of the chance of what item you'll get when you see one drop inside a chapter. And as you can see, taking the altar to level two will give us max HP increase, the enhanced equipment increase, which is now working. It was bugged at first, but we are good to go. And then the equipment drop rate increase. Going from level two to level three, you can see we're gonna get even more enhanced equipment. Equipment drop rate is gonna increase, and then you're going to get attack plus 5%. And all those other ones there, obviously prey effect, that's gonna go up too. But your max HP and attack, those will go up small amounts every time you go like level 11, 12, 12, 13 and so on and then also at 11 11 and 12 it's actually now 20 bloodstones that you're going to need to take it to there taking it to level three once again enhance equipment equipment drop rate and then we get the healing effect of red hearts plus five percent and the actual healing effects of red hearts plus a 250 you see there that will also increase along with the hp and attacks every time you level up a single level and then at level four, we once again have enhanced equipment and equipment drop rate. Those are really starting to add up. They can be pretty useful. We're going to have max HP also. Now, as far as the items that you should be using to ascend, if you have any mythics yet, any of those extra items you get, like I have a mythic staff, I'm going to use any other staffs I get in the game to go and put towards ascending. Once I don't have any of my mythic stuff left over, then I'll start going through my pets because really, what do we use pets for? They're not really helping out too much. If you do want to keep two of them, like the bats or even, I don't know, the owl or flaming ghost, keep those and just start getting rid of the other ones. And here's an image that's been popping around a level five on it. And this is pretty crazy. You can see equipment drop rate, enhance equipment, and then you're gonna get our attack plus 5%. And a little rumor I heard is once you get your altar up to a high enough level on it, you can start sacrificing epic weapons. Don't know if that's true. Well, I should say epic items all the guard because you can do weapons and anything else, but not certain how true it is. Just remember I heard I'm not far enough in it. I think I'm still at like 12 for my altar. So I got a ways to go with it, but this is something I'm actually liking guys. I don't know what you guys think about it. Let me know in the comments below. Other than that, don't forget like, subscribe, and remember I pick my butt.